Okay, we're going to take a look at something called effective interest rate. You want to invest $350 for four years. You can invest it at 4.5% per annum compounding monthly. What is the effective interest rate? Is this better than a simple interest loan at 5%? Okay, well, the effective interest rate is just taking a look at our compounding loan and asking the question, okay, well, what would the simple interest rate be, have to be, for um, it to be the same as this compounding loan? Okay, so the steps are work out how much interest you get on the compound loan and then use that amount of interest to work out using the same numbers, your principal, your time, okay, and the interest that you get. Use that to backwards work out what simple interest rate you'll need. So we're going to do that now. Let's take a look. First thing, it says compounding, so we're going to write down the compound interest formula. A equals P1 plus R on N to the NT, and we're going to write down what things we need. Our principal is $350. Our rate is 4.5%, which is 0.045. Our N is compounding monthly, 12 times a year. And our T is four years. Okay, so now we just sub it in. We've got uh, 350, one plus 0 0.045 divided by 12 to the 12 times four. Okay, let's go and find out what that is. Oh. Uh, okay. 350 times 1 plus 0.045 on uh, 12 to the, um, let me make that nicer, 12 times 4 on top there. Now I can read it, 12 times 4. Okay, so we get $418.89. $418.89. Nice. Now, we're going to work out now what the interest was that we earned. Remember, that's the amount. Take the principal. Okay, $418.89. Take away $350. Okay, 418.89. Take away $350 is $68.89. Now we're going to take that interest and we're going to put it into this formula because we're going to find out what the simple interest rate is that would get us that amount of interest. So let's go and set it up. We've got $68.89 is 350 times we want the rate times four years and if i rearrange that i'm going to bring the 350 and the four over the other side of the equal sign and if the opposite of times is divide so that becomes 68.89 divided by 350 times four is r and then i'm going to go in my calculator let me move it over a bit. 68.89 uh, divided by 350 times 4 gives us 0 0.0492. 0 0.0492 equals R, which let's turn it into a percentage, gives us 4.92%, which is R. So is that better than a simple interest loan at 5%? Well, no because the interest rate, the effective interest rate is 4.92. And when we're comparing it to five, that's not as good. So therefore, the simple rate is better. Ta-da.